Hello, welcome to Destined to Win Tutorials. Today, we're going to be taking a topic on uh, under solid measuration. We started the uh, solid measuration where the first one I treated cube for a particular student. And now we're going to be treating the cylinder. So we're going to um, know the formulas and um, have some past questions under YEC, JAMP and GCE. So today, uh, so we're speaking about cylinder. So what's a, a, a cylinder? It's a figure with a curved surface. Usually if we know um, from this part uh, of our world, in Nigeria especially, we know of our Milo, our Bon Vita tin. That's an example of a cylinder where you have something like this. Uh, forgive my drawing. Just have something like this. Circular at the top and bottom. It can also be like a pipe too. That's if it's... Uh, horizontal this way this is vertical and this is horizontal so when you have uh, a cylinder with vertical standing vertical like this the height is known as h and when you have a cylinder um which is um horizontal the height the length it is the distance from here from one to, uh, from one bottom to an another is known as what uh, length and where you have a radius here r you know, diameter is the full length. That's the diameter of the bottom, this circle. That's from here to here. This is the diameter. Why half of it is what? A radius. Okay? So the three properties of um, a cylinder, what we always try to find out about the cylinder is the curved surface area of the cylinder. And also the total surface area. That's the area of the, the top of the cylinder, the bottom of the cylinder, and its side. And also the volume of the cylinder, what the cylinder can contain. So these are the formulas. So number one, our curved surface area. Curved surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi RH. That's the formula. That's your 2 pi, the circumference of this particular circle and you multiply by the height that's the curve total code curve surface area now our total surface area is in two forms where you have when the cylinder is opened at one end and when the cylinder is also closed at both ends you will notice if you open your tin of uh, of your bon vita that is an open cylinder. When you close it, it's a what? Closed cylinder. So here, so the first thing is, if we're looking for the total surface area of a closed cylinder, it would be the curved surface area of the cylinder plus the area of the top and bottom and what's the area of the top the area of the top is what pi r square plus pi r square so here we have what two pi so here what do we have we have what two pi r h plus two pi r square where two pi and r is common so we bring it out and we're left with what h plus r so this is the formula for finding the total surface area of a what closed cylinder so the total surface area of an open cylinder let's do open come down here open cylinder which means it's open at one end is this is equal to what the curved surface area plus one end that is what Op uh, closed so here what do we have what is common we have pi and r so we bring up pi r bracket what 2 h 2 h plus r so this is the formula for finding a total surface area of a open cylinder now the last property which would uh, have to know about cylinder is the volume of the cylinder and it's just simply equal to what the area base 
times height. And what's the area base, which is what R square times H, which is equal to pi R square H. So these are the three things we just need to know about a cylinder. These are the three part uh, three formulas we are going to use to solve questions under cylinders. So stay tuned and please like, share, subscribe to this channel. In our next video, we shall see several questions on cylinders in our WAEC, JAM and GCE. Thank you. You are destined to win. Please subscribe to this channel. Bye.